I'm Kevin. And I'm Stacy. This is our first Class C motorhome. So we've never had a motorhome before, and we started looking and we saw that they were running new around $100,000, totally out of our budget. So we decided to go with an old, older, pretty old, <laughs> used motorhome, and we decided to renovate it. We purchased her, we started renovating, okay. and we nicknamed her The, the Cottage. cottage. Welcome to the cottage. We are gonna start our tour in the living room. Okay, so here's our living room. And one of the first things we did when we came in is obviously change the color scheme. We needed to paint. We sprayed everything with kills, original kills before we be even began to paint. The next thing we did was we replaced the jackknife couch. Although it was in really good shape, it just really wasn't comfortable. And we replaced it with these leather recliners. And it's pretty cool because you just pull the switch and you can you can lean back and you can see old uh, Coda here. He he's, he's enjoying this as well. So definitely made some improvements in the living room. One of the things we realized once we had the love seat in here is it'll be really nice to have some kind of laptop tables that come over. Uh, in case we need to do some work or you know uh, do some editing on videos so we're gonna add some laptop tables we're going to be building those they're gonna slide around and what I'm most excited about is we are also collaborating with a friend of ours who customizes wood pieces so he's going to be customizing some laptop tables for us another thing that we found that we really lacked when we put when we put in the new couch we have nowhere to put our coffee and even when we're driving like the kids will be sitting here and they'll they'll be like where can i put my drink so we are going to add some cup holders to either side so we have somewhere to put our drinks and they don't spill another thing that we did in the living room was you know the old campers they always have that valance that's covered by fabric i don't know who thought that was a good idea but obviously a lot of camper places did we took those valances and we redid them so that we had wood covering and then we have these shades that were already in here that we left in here so for that reason ugh. there are a lot of things that we did initially that we want to change now one is those shades Comment below if you've done something differently in your camper that turned out really great with these valances and with these legs. Paint gives you a whole new facelift for a minimal amount of money and just a little elbow grease. But once we painted, we also took all of the cabinet hardware off and we put on new cabinet hardware from Amazon. We will link all of the things that we used that we used in the description, but that made a huge difference in the camper. So immediately it brightened it up and gave it a whole fresh new look. We have a carpeted ceiling. One of the things we did, we came in and thought, okay, we're gonna spray this carpeted ceiling and just kind of seal it up, you know, keep the odors, all that kind of stuff. And it worked pretty well, however, warning light dusting here and there. We had painted it, came back in, there was bubbles everywhere. We about had a heart attack. We didn't even take any pictures because it was like big pockets of carpet hanging down. Thought we were gonna have to redo the entire ceiling. Actually, when it dried, it sucked most of it back up. There was a couple places that it didn't. We had to inject some adhesive and use a two by four to push it up, but we got it back together. So if you're going to paint the ceiling, you can do it, but just a very light dusting here, let it dry, very light dusting, very light dusting. I put it on too heavy, so learn from my mistake on that one. One thing I really wanna do, but Kevin is not quite there yet, is I wanna do some different ceiling in here, maybe like a wood ceiling or you know some thin wood or something like that. I've seen some folks who've tried some different things. Not take out what's here, but just go over it. So if you have any ideas for putting in a different ceiling in an RV that has carpet, please comment below because I need some ideas and I need to convince Kevin that we can make this work. Speaking of the ceiling, so we did this great job on painting the ceiling and we have an air conditioner in here that works really well. However, it's still pretty old so you can see the plastic has faded and yellowed and I really hate how that looks. So one of the things we're going to try is we're going to try in one of our projects repainting that and giving it a fresh new look. 
In addition to that, we have this uh, lighting that came with the camper. Now, the lighting in here is pretty dark and kind of dim. One of the unique things with the lighting in the ceiling is it's actually fluorescent lights that are in here. When we replace this, I wanna replace it with something LED. The lights in a camper are pretty specific to that camper, like these little lights right here. It's not easy to change them. So we just went ahead and taped very carefully and painted them. Now that's been fine for these little lights, but for these lights right here, it's been pretty terrible. So I don't like that because the paint chips on them, it just doesn't look right. So one of the changes we're going to make is to put in some new RV 12 volt lights. So if you have some ideas for some great lighting or some places to get some good lighting, please comment below and share that with us. The essential part of the living room is actually the entertainment center. We've got a flat screen TV and a Sony surround sound system that's actually piped into all of the speakers that were already in the camper and we also have a subwoofer under one of the seats in the dinette. Uh, two areas where we have a ton of storage in the front and some additional drawers. One of the things that I would like to do is right here on this, uh, the, the top part here is actually spray some type of kind of a, a little bit more of a rubberized uh, surface so that it's kind of grippy and things don't slide so if you have any suggestions for something that we could spray on like an aerosol almost that creates a rubbery surface that would look good uh, comment below because uh, we're, we're looking for something like that right now so our cottage the motorhome did not come with something to section off the front of the cab where you drive with the back of the house the cab gets kind of hot so when it's warm out we want to cover all of that up so one of the things that we did was we ordered off of amazon these darkening curtains we simply ordered some some rod holders and a rod now we got the stick on rod holders this has been fantastic it allows us to to separate and you're gonna see a mess up here it's just real life because we're trying to record at the same time but we are able to close off the front and then we can open it back up but then we still have this hole right here and sometimes if it's hot we want to keep all of that heat into the cab so we simply purchased an accordion paper shade. We put some snaps on the end of it and we put some snaps up here on the on the base of the cab where the cabinets are on the countertop and so we're able to easily snap this in and it creates that barrier for that heat and it also gives us more privacy if we want that as well and it was super cheap. We'll have some current videos and some videos to come showing you specific things that we've done in here in case you want to do those as well. Also, if you're like me, a lot of times you look for something that kind of get lost, gets lost in YouTube land. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe and like these videos now, that'll allow you to access them later. So when we purchased the motorhome, we had a terrible, ugly carpet in here. I hate carpet to begin with. I'm just not a carpet person. But not only did we have carpet, it was also faded in some spots and yellowed, so that had to go. The flooring that we replaced the carpeting with is actually a waterproof uh, click flooring, much like the life proof. Uh, we did have to make adjustments for around the slide out. We didn't want to do any um, changes underneath there. We're going to do a video showing how you can replace flooring in a slide out without actually having to take the slide out out. Uh, once you start messing with that, it, it, you just kind of get into a territory you probably don't want to deal with. So uh, we've done this several times on other campers and it's worked really well each time. So we'll kind of take you through and show you how we've done that. So now on to the kitchen. One of the things I we did was put in a brand new sink and it's a huge sink. And for RV land, this is been fantastic. It's super deep and it allows us to, it's good that it allows us to put lots of dishes in it and it's bad that it allows us to put lots of dishes in it. Nonetheless, it is a great sink. We have a sprayer. We have lots of room. We also put in a uh, 
paper towel holders so that's easy access anything to make things easier and down the side over here we have some little uh, netting shelves that gives us that gives us a place to store keys flashlights things like that as well like any other camper we have a standard stove and oven but one of the problems with that is it it wastes a lot of space where you could do things so we actually ordered this cutting board off Amazon that's got feet that straddle it that gives you so much more counter space than after the fact also we added in the backsplash here, which is actually a sticker backsplash, but it looks so good when you put it on there and it really, really adds to it. One other thing that we did was add a magnetic knife holder. And we also ordered these knives off Amazon that have the little plastic sheath, which is great because it still magnetizes very strongly to this, but you don't have to worry about uh, accidentally cutting yourself. We actually added these little battery powered LED lights underneath the cabinet that just give you just a little bit of ambiance, just a little bit of additional light when you need it. So here's our dining room. So one of the things that we did when we came in is we redid to a certain extent the dining room area. We painted the edges of the table. We left the countertop the same on the table just because we weren't sure what if we really wanted to change anything. We also recovered and reupholstered the, the cushions. We wanted to leave the dining room table because this does fold down to a bed and we have used this because we only have one other bed and we took out the jackknife couch. So we really wanted to leave this style of dinette in the camper. So one of our next Next project so now that we've been in the camper for a while is I want to redo this whole dinette the friend of ours that's collaborating with us on the laptop tables is also going to design a matching top for our dining room table the first go round when we redesigned the dinette we actually took measurements and made wood pieces that mocked what was there before however because they're not they're, they're a thinner piece of wood and they're not covered in fabric they kind of tend to be in the way. So we need to redesign that. You can see on this side, I got a little excited about uh, sitting quickly into the uh, seat here and actually broke off a piece of this. So going forward, although they still look kind of neat with the wood, we're, we're gonna we're gonna reconfigure that in a way that's um, that still looks good, but is more user friendly. So we've hung up some pictures and done some things like that to give it a give it our own flair and our own feel. However, we left this in here. This came in here and it was a clock and it's never worked. Um, but we just kind of left it because it was in the spot and it looked good in the spot. But it's now time to do some little modifications with that as well. And I want to make this the family wall. Our daughter let us know about these cool hooks that you can get from Amazon. And we have placed them throughout the cottage and even the rescue wagon. And they're adhesive, but they really, really hold well. And they hold a lot of weight and they've been a great addition and made life a lot easier. We have a nice sized shower in the cottage, which allows us to mm, utilize the, the shower and all of that. We have, it has a shower head, can shower. We also put these clips in here so that we can hang things in here and store things in here when we're not using it as a shower, like the broom and the dustpan or other things that we can just hang in here. We did, when we came in, a couple of things we did right away is again, this old plastic. When you get an old motor home, you end up with the plastic that's kind of yellowed and looks really, really old. So we, we redid the walls in the shower with a paint. It worked out perfectly and looks like a brand new shower and did not cost that much at all and did not require us to pull the whole shower out. So that was one really positive thing we did. We also had a real fancy gold sliding shower door in here. So we thought, okay, well, we'll just repaint it. No, that didn't work. We tried repainting it and the paint just chipped off. So we ended up taking that out and putting up a shower curtain. This is something I definitely want to change in our shower. So every time, you know, it looks cute, but every time the shower curtain is sticking to you and it's like stuck in there and it's all touching you, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's a good size shower, but not that big. And so I don't like that. So we are going to redesign a, a, 
a shower door that hopefully is a retractable shower door. Any ideas on that? Leave that in the comments below. In addition, this is no longer spraying as good as it should. We need to put in a new shower faucet. I'm gonna f replace the shower head part, but I'm actually not gonna replace the faucet part. And the reason I'm not going to is because in my closet right behind it, there is no access panel. And I really don't wanna get into the, all of that. So basically just the hose and, an, and possibly even just a new head. And uh, that gives a, gives a little bit better water pressure. One cool piece of engineering that they actually did on this was this bathroom door. Because when you open it, it actually goes over here and latches in and separates off the entire bedroom and bathroom area so then you can shower have the fan on in your in your bathroom and it sucks all that moist air right away and it also gives you additional privacy in this whole area the bathroom in the cottage was i feel like one of our biggest transformations so we came in we of course painted everything we redid the mirrors for very little cost we painted some of the fixtures we also put in a new sink a fancy new sink which i was pretty excited about we also painted the countertops in here so that they had a fresh new look and we put in a new toilet because the to i don't know the toilet was just not it was like really ginormous and looked very odd we put in a new toilet and we also put in a bidet not really a bidet but we did put in a sprayer so that it was for easy cleaning and easy when you're dumping to make sure that you get all the water in there we also put in some um, wallpaper in here to give it an, a nice fun look the same wallpaper that we actually added in the bedroom as well and some some cute things on the walls and we also put in a uh, different than the kitchen a uh, backsplash that is that is the stick on backsplash as well so I really love the bathroom we have a good size bedroom in the cottage in our motor home and I love that we have so much space in here we actually have tons of covered space of course we did do the same you know replace the cabinet handles all of that painted back here they put like that wallpaper border that was super popular in the 80s we just went ahead and covered it up with a wood border which i kind of wanted to do anyway just to give it a little bit of a different touch in here one of the things we did was add some charging stations on both sides of the bed we did two on this side of the bed because it's easier to get to for when you're not laying down but then we also have a uh, iPhone or iWatch charger on each side as well. I really like things to be cool and so when we're in a hot area like we like to go to the Keys it sometimes gets kind of warm in here because we only have one air conditioner so we would like to put a second air conditioner in the bedroom back here. <laughs> When we purchased the vehicle, there was a couple things we needed to do. We were having some blinker problems and some dash problems. So we had to get the, uh, the dash replaced and the multi-function lever, uh, which is for the turn signals replaced. Um, two things I still need to do. This particular cigarette lighter does not work and the fuse is not blown. And also the cruise control does not work right now and it did when I first bought it so I've got to figure out I can't find a fuse so if anybody's got any uh, knowledge with that kind of stuff maybe somehow those two are related uh, shoot it in the comments below because that would be great uh, we do want to replace the uh, stereo system we did add the rear camera so that's what this is this is my cell phone holder here um, we do have a built-in rear camera that is really more looking down on the hitch, not really what's behind you. The seats in this are very comfortable. It's very comfortable to drive. I do get a little vibration off the front right end. Also, if you've experienced that, it's not the wheels are not out of balance, out of balance they're brand new. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a loose bearing, something like that. You get a little, uh, at, certain, at certain speeds, you get more vibration than others, but I really need to get that taken care of. Once I've got that taken care of, I'm going to be a happy camper. 
I would love for this seat, the passenger seat, to raise up when we want it to and swivel around. Now you do have to step down into the cab, so I'm not sure that that's ever gonna be possible. However, I would love to have that swivel seat because then we'd have like an extra recliner, but I don't know, we might not ever figure out how to do that, but we shall see. On the front, the old decal was really ratty and nasty looking, so we took that off and put our little cottage um, decal up there to make it uh, more our own and make it look better from what it was. We actually added some hooks so that we can have an outdoor um, movie theater. This one's got an automatic awning and what we did here too is we actually tapped into the power source here and put LED lighting underneath the awning. One of the things we added was a, an additional backup camera. The one that came with it is black and white and it only really shows on the hitch. And then we also added a riser and then the hitch set up to tow our Jeep with as well, because eventually we want to be able to take our Jeep wherever we go. We're going to paint the graphics. They're getting a little faded, so we're going to be painting the graphics. We're also going to be painting some of this plastic that has gotten really yellow looking. You know I don't like that yellow looking plastic. So we're going to try painting some of that plastic and, and freshening that up as well as the front bumper. Sure. I also want to put a shelf on the outside of the cottage so that we have an automatic shelf anytime we go somewhere that we can flip up and down. We also want to add a bike rack to the front of the cottage so that we can bring our electric bikes with us when we go on all of our adventures. Oh, one other thing we're gonna add is some under lighting for the underneath of the cottage so that it lights up at night wherever we're at. So when we picked out this uh, Class C motorhome, we didn't realize we were getting one with a, what's called a full basement which is actually a bunch of under storage. Not all of them have that much under storage. We've got a bunch of different places all underneath. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really handy to have all of these different storage spaces around. And there's storage that matches this on the other side. And if you want to see what happened to our storage unit when we had a blowout, check out that video because it did $14,000 worth of damage, which is crazy. It's on our adventure channel. Be free Benson Adventures. The glory hole. This is where you hook up your water and dump your poop tank and hook up your electrical and all the goodies that are all in here. In the rear storage, uh, you've also got your battery access here, but this rear storage is actually passed through to the other side. So that's where we can put our big uh, reclining chairs and stuff in as well. So I was really worried when we switched from a fifth wheel to a motorhome that we were not gonna have enough storage. And I am so happy that with the basement and with all of the cupboard space we have inside, we have plenty of storage, probably more than we actually need. So we just lucked up and ended up with the perfect motorhome for us, the cottage. And so, Again, save some money and do it yourself. Do some renovations and get it exactly like you want it. We have saved a ton of money with redoing and remodeling the cottage. So we really, really love it. We hope you have enjoyed the tour and check out our other videos because we are posting videos regularly of how we did the things that we did in the cottage. So make sure you check those out, subscribe to our channel and give us a like. It really helps us out. And Thank you for watching. And don't forget Get. Doing things yourself allows you to be free.